Much progress has been made in providing guidance in mainstreaming climate change into economic and financial policies in Ghana. This is visible in a number of developmental policies, including the National Climate Change Policy, the Ghana Red Plus Strategy, the National Environment Policy Renewable Energy Act 2011, Act A32, and Ghana National Low Carbon Development Strategy. Ghana is currently conducting a climate public expenditure institutional review aimed at assessing the existing national and sectorial policy priorities and institutional arrangements for climate change mainstreaming into the budget. Ghana has committed an average of 3.94% of its total expenditure to climate change over the last five years, starting from 2015. The year-on-year -year climate change relevant expenditure as a percentage of total domestic expenditure increased from 2.29% in 2018 to 3.78% in 2020. Despite these achievements, there are some challenges that confront efforts in mainstreaming climate change. They include climate finance mobilization. Inadequate finance is the key limiting factor holding back the delivery of national obligations, including climate change mainstreaming. Developing countries like Ghana are classified as the most impacted by climate change, but in terms of availability and funds of funds to fight the impact, they are the least able to afford. Ghana plans to mobilize 22.6 billion of investments over a 10-year period from 2020 to 2030 from both domestic and international public and private sources. 6.3 billion will be mobilized nationally, leaving a gap of 16.2 billion needed from international sources. There is therefore the need for developed countries to scale up their financial support in line with international obligations to enable us mainstream climate change more effectively. Another challenge is climate finance delivery. Effectiveness of climate finance delivery will require linkages between policy formulation, institutional architecture of implementing agencies, and the national budgetary system. Considerable investment is also needed to finance management systems and build capacity within the implementing agencies. Finally, private sector participation. Inadequate private sector investment participation in climate change related programs and the absence of tailor-made programs to target private sector decision makers on climate change issues is a challenge that needs addressing. Government is currently engaging the private sector on opportunities to drive the climate change agenda and attract private sector investment in green enterprises.